I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. One of those things I want to talk about now is some breaking news, I guess, related to Syria. Opposition says as many as 1,300 killed in a gas attack near Damascus. Here we go again with the false flag gas attack, as if I, I don't think Assad would be that stupid. He's actually winning this so-called civil war and revolution over there. Um, we've been talking about it for the last year. It doesn't seem like uh, the, the powers that be, the global food chain, the global military-industrial complex wants to go in there that much. It, it's not very popular, but now here's a pretty good excuse. You've got a few developments of your own related to Syria. Is this it? Are we going? This is it. This is, uh, this is what I think is going to be the, the big one. If they're going to make a move on Syria, it's, it's going to be as a result of an incident exactly like this. And unfortunately, this is the one we've been waiting for. Let's just put this in perspective for people who don't know about the history of this uh, chemical false flag idea. In December of last year, there was a video released with some of the, uh, the Syrian rebels going under the name the Almighty Wind Brigade. Um, make of that what you will. Showing them in graphic detail killing a uh, rabbit with a a chemical in a beaker um, which they they insert into a, a, a chamber in which this rabbit's being kept it dies a slow horrible death which you can watch on youtube and then the uh, person comes out and says uh, you saw what happened this will be your fate you infidel alawites i swear by allah to make you die like these rabbits one minute only after you inhale the gas so those are the syrian rebels who we are now asked to believe are the victims of the chemical weapons attack using chemical weapons on record in december uh, later in december uh, uh in aleppo um one of the the main syrian uh jihadist strongholds the jihadist al-nusra front which is linked has been linked to the mythical al-Qaeda beast, um, was uh, overran a chemical factory, uh, specifically a chlorine factory, uh, in the Aleppo area. And lo and behold, in March, uh, the next year, March 2013, there was an, a chemical weapons attack uh, in very near Aleppo, in a, in a village just to the west of Aleppo, that was uh, initially, they were trying to blame it on the Syrian uh, military under Assad, but it, as it turned out, in fact, it was the Syrian military who died in the attack. 26 people died including Syrian military officers. And it turned out not to be a chemical weapons attack, but in fact, a chlorine agent attack. And where did that chlorine source from? Could it be the chlorine that was seized in the, uh, the factory raid in December the year, the, previously by the Al-Qaeda front? Um, all signs point to yes. Uh, later in the, the year, uh, later that month, actually, um, you have uh, reports coming out about that incident. And uh, again, it's, it all seems to source back to the rebels. And uh, in fact, it was the Syrian military that died. In May of 2013, in May of this year, you had uh, the UN weapons inspectors coming out and uh, the, for, with their commission of inquiry on Syria. And they found, quote, uh, according to the testimonies we have gathered, the rebels have used chemical weapons, making use of sarin gas. So the UN officially came out and blamed the rebels for using chemical weapons in May of this year. And, uh, and then uh, just two days ago, you have a UN chemical weapons expert team arrive in Damascus, in Syria, uh, to start uh, a fact-finding mission about the use of chemical weapons in the country. And now here we are, and uh, as we're recording this, it's August 21st, uh, so, um, so two days after they arrive, uh, there's this chemical weapons attack. And uh, now we're being asked, uh, first it was 200 dead, then they said 500, then they said 700, now they're saying 1,300. Uh, we'll see what that number finally fixates on. But uh, but the, the point of this is the UN chemical weapons inspectors arrive, and then two days later, literally 15 minutes from where they're staying, uh, near the, uh, the Damascus airport, there's a chemical weapons attack that we're now being asked to believe was committed by the Syrian military. So apparently Assad waited for the UN chemical weapons inspectors to arrive in his country before using chemical weapons on on the militants in uh, an operation that uh, can't be understood in any other way than a suicide mission that was not only a suicide mission but completely unnecessary because of course the Syrian military has had the upper hand for the last several months in that conflict so now he goes and creates the stupidest possible move that he could possibly do by gassing his own yeah. civilians while the UN is right there and now right. we have Britain and France calling for a UN Security Council to take a immediate emergency action on the issue. So here we go. Um, if they're going to make any sort of move on Syria, I think it's going to come from an incident exactly like this.
when it came down to the end of the day, they justified the attack on Iraq because Saddam Hussein gassed his own people, gassed the Kurds, which technically weren't his own people, but um, and technically he didn't gas them, at least according to Stephen Pelletier, uh, who was a CIA guy on the ground over there at the time. But it's, it really worked. It was pretty potent, and it's just amazing to see the playbook just rolled right out again. But CNN will, will show the dead people. Just like Oliver North told me when they wanted to get people to take the anthrax shots in the military, they would show them a grisly scene of somebody dying from anthrax and they all lined up to take the shots, even though sometimes the shots even killed them. But people are going to see the the twisted faces and the, the disgusting debris of humanity and they're going to want something done or minimally they're going to turn their head and cough and not pay attention when something is done this is the red line now we'll see if obama obeys the first one apparently wasn't potent enough so they've done it again and they've left him at this point i guess no choice not that he's making the decision but that he'll to go along with it and to get out and start selling it like soap that's exactly right. It's a, an absolutely ridiculous story on its face. There is absolutely no reason that Bashar al-Assad would do this unless he was utterly, completely insane and suicidal. And uh, unless we go along with that narrative, there this stinks to high heaven. But uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what facts they come out with and how they support this. But uh, the UN Security Council looks like they're going to be holding some sort of emergency meeting on this. So we'll have to see what comes out of it.